Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and uh, we've got an old campgrounds on our farm. I've mentioned it a couple of times in some of our videos. And uh, last uh, year or two, we've been slowly working, trying to get it back up, and we even have the idea we're gonna build a little cabin out here, possibly uh, hip camp or Airbnb it, but more than anything else, just kind of have it for friends and family if they wanna come up camping. And uh, I decided for the time being now, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a nice tent and set it up here. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. This is uh, similar to a yurt. Uh, they're called a bell tent. And uh, they range all different prices. Uh, you get on uh, Amazon, I got this off of eBay. I think, uh, I think it was about $300, $350. So uh, pretty, pretty inexpensive. Uh, if you look, some of these will run. I know a buddy of mine, uh, Doc, that comes out here, he's got one uh, that's uh, just maybe a foot around bigger than this. And granted, his is a little nicer, but he also paid about $1,500 for his. So, you know, I don't think that's too bad. Now, we got it set up here. Got the, got the rain fly. And, I mean, if you're homesteading, if you've got property that you're going up on the weekend and trying to, like, you know, build a small house or something, you can live out of one of these uh, or have it for a weekend place. So I got the rain fly on it. And first impressions on this was uh, I figured I'd probably need to waterproof it a little bit. So I got some waterproofing spray and I came around and got it probably up to about right here because I couldn't reach any higher and I was gonna come back. Well, we just, we've had a couple really heavy rains here and it's, it's doing good water, you know, waterproof, beating everything off. Went inside, there's no water on the inside. This has been up about a week and a half now. So, uh, you know, not bad. We've had several really, really heavy storms come through. You know, you set these up, uh, you stake the bottom down, rain fly, you kind of got these all around. My idea is I'm gonna build a little deck around it to set it up, but this was just kind of to set it up to see, you know, how I liked it. Got windows all the way around, which uh, bring airflow in really good. And we're gonna take a go inside and take a look inside. I don't have anything set up in a jet, but this is big enough. I could actually put a small like twin or queen size bed or two in here and a table and possibly a little, even a little kitchen in here. So we come in, you got this big pole in the middle and I actually have lights and a fan to put on it. Uh, you got one more pole that kind of holds up right here for uh, to hold the door up. And that's it. Other than that, you just stake it down. Uh, also, I don't know how well you can see, but there is a zipper that goes all the way around the bottom. So the floor will unzip. And uh, then this bottom part where the windows are actually kind of rolls up where you've got about a foot and a half, two foot, that uh, kind of make it like a TP where you've really got ventilation in here. It's set up for wood stove. You can get a small wood stove in here. Uh, I've got the flaps closed on it, but uh, right here it's got an outlet for a pipe. Also, uh, there's one over here. I think if I was going to use one, I'd probably use this. I think that's probably a little safer. It comes with some extra uh, parts to Velcro in if that were to dry rot. And uh, pretty much what it came with, it's got a bag for your steaks, which you've got uh, your steaks on the outside, as you saw as I was walking around. You've got one big pole right here and one pole there, and that's pretty much it. These are really simple to put up. You have your manual. And these things come in a lot of different sizes. Got a uh, little hammer and stake puller. Our thank you for your purchase. Uh, call us if you have problems that uh, they, you know, motor puts in everything. And then just a big bag for uh, for everything to come in. That's about all you get with it. Pretty simple, 
but uh, it's nice. It's nice and comfy. And we're going to be uh, setting this up. We share the uh, share the experience with us as we set this up and get it uh, get it nice, kind of like a little second home. Also, if we got family or friends that just kind of wanted to come up and do some camp, and we'd have it already set up. And like I said, hopefully we're going to get a cabin set up uh, this fall, next spring. We've been slowly working on it, but uh, but yeah, we're going to start adding to it and. Uh, Come with us on the journey, as we do, and you're going to see what's uh, about to become our weekend getaway. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, if you're uh, interested in learning about camping or uh, uh, just wanting to see different products that, uh, and how we set it up, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's always appreciated. Give us a thumbs up. That's also appreciated, too, and both of those help the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.